be sentenced in a future hearing, he faces a maximum sentence of three years. A Las Cruces resident claims she and her mailbox are being targeted, but she says it's a case of mistaken residents. Yeah, she believes that the perpetrator is likely going after someone who is charged with child sex crimes in that same neighborhood. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez has more. The woman who did not want to go on camera wants these repeated attacks to stop. She says a person who is doing this has the wrong person and the wrong mailbox. I got to see my mailbox. Somebody took the time to cut it. A Las Cruces woman has been left with many questions after her mailbox has been vandalized time and time again. She wishes to remain anonymous, but says she's called this her home for over 25 years. She first blamed it on mischievous kids, but later realized this wasn't a prank. This time, the pole was cut in half and the mailbox left hanging. It's a quiet neighborhood. The woman says the vandalisms began shortly after details of a child sexual assault case surfaced. Back on May 24th, ABC7 reported Las Cruces police arrested 38-year-old Rogelio Perez at a home on Connie Lou Drive. That man was facing several sexual assault charges involving a child. But police never gave an exact address of where that man lived, only that he was arrested in this block. I live right next to the sign that says 1900 and then I have the 1900 right on the curb. It's on my mailbox so I'm assuming that's why they targeted the mailbox because I had it painted on there. She says this has led to confusion and turmoil. Now that somebody actually took the time and cut it um, and none of my neighbors have told me anything. I didn't hear anything so they're they're doing it on purpose and it's just my house. She says she doesn't even know the man who is facing the sexual assault charges and she wants to clear her address's name and regain her peace of mind. I'm a little freaked out because, I mean, it's, it's a quiet neighborhood and who's like targeting this house, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not even me. The woman says she already has cameras installed in her home but she says Las Cruces police advised her to place a camera facing the mailbox to be able to catch the vandal. She says the cost to repair the mailbox will be well over $100, but has decided to wait until this situation is resolved. Rosemary Montañez, ABC7.